BlizzCon 2018, the one time of year YouTubers can meet their fans instead of talking to them through the camera. So I'm going to title this video, VidCon 2018 is silly. I don't want to convince you why it is, but these are just a few of my reasonings on why I have this opinion. So quickly, for those who don't know, VidCon is a convention made by the YouTubers for the YouTubers. And you may be wondering, what do people do at VidCon? So I've never been, but from what I understand, you just walk around, you attend some panels, you buy food, you eat it. If you see someone who's semi-popular, you join the mob of fans and Oh, hey, can I have a picture? Or, hey, can I have a handshake? Now, the first reason why I find VidCon very silly is the price point. God dang, it's expensive. So, so the cheapest one, the community pass, is $100. So already there I'm thinking, oh wow, that's a day's worth of work. Is it really worth it for me? If you check the agenda, I don't know. For myself, at least. There's also the creator pass and the industry pass, which gives you access to more conferences, I guess, but... From what I've heard, what a lot of people do is they buy industry passes, more of these expensive passes, actually, so they could get into these exclusive zones and actually have a chance of meeting the YouTubers they like, and, you know, get a selfie, interact with them or whatnot. Also, why I find it silly to go is just the mobs that spawn. So last year in 2017, the big ones were Rice Gum and Logan Paul. Logan! People got hurt from what I've read, from what I saw. And the reason why I personally don't like mobs and find it silly to actually put yourself into that situation, because when I was four years old, I went to a baseball game and I tried to get my ball signed from one of the players. And then I just remember like all these older kids, like I'd say maybe eight, just like over me and I never got the ball signed. And ever since then it's like, oh, I hate mobs. Straight fact, I hate mobs. I don't want to even be a part of this, like, you can't even accomplish your objective. What's the point? Just the mobs that spawn, it just seems so inconvenient to go everywhere. Might get beaten up by security, you know. <sighs> so as much of a loser this makes me, I'm subscribed to over a thousand channels on YouTube. And that's quite a bit, just a wide range of channels. And yet, when I go through the list of the guest creators, I don't really recognize who these people are. Like, yeah, Casey, nice, that the odd ones out. I, I, I know these people. A lot of these BuzzFeed people are there. But I'm just going through and I'm like, who, who are these people? And I know you want to say, what are you saying? You don't even have a thousand subscribers on YouTube. <sighs> but I watch a lot of YouTube and yet I don't know who these people are. So I don't really see too much of a purpose of going to the convention. So I'm not hating on you if you do, but just for me, it's kind of silly to go. At least at this point in time. And this this leads to my biggest complaint. We're Steven Sharer, Carter Sharer, Liz Sharer, the whole Sharer fam, you know? What I want to see is all three of them come onto stage in their green Lamborghini with their dog, spinning their fidget spinners like this, as if they were throwing money like a lot of rappers do nowadays. And I'd pay money to see it, I'd probably. I don't know if I'd fly out to LA or wherever this convention is held, but... That's something I'd like to see next year.